Hey everybody, I am getting all set up. Uh, I'm having a problem with the cat cam, so I'm really trying to figure that out. Uh, so bear with me, I'll be on ASAP. Uh, but in the meantime, please let me know how the audio is because my computer is acting a fool right now. And I wanna make sure everything is working correctly. Um, okay, see y'all on soon. Okay, I tried my best, but now my phone is updating like a big dum dum. So, one second. Oh well, maybe the cat cam will turn on in the middle of the video. We'll find out. <laughs> All right, guys. Three, two, one. Hey everybody, happy hooking. Ho hope everybody's having a great Thursday. Welcome to the live stream. 
Uh, thank you so much for joining. I always forget to wipe my glasses off right before hitting go. It's so dumb. If you go back and watch my live streams, you'll notice that. At like pretty much every time I start the stream, I'm like, oh wait, I can't see anything under these smudged, dirty glasses. <laughs> hey everybody, how are you? Hope you're having a great day. Today, let's fix our little friend here. We are gonna be making a couple new whales to add to our collection that we have so far. So far in our live streams this season, we have made a couple of whales. Look at how cute, this one even has a little sailor hat. We've made a little beluga whale with a little painter beluga whale. I think his name is Pierre. And then of course, last week's adorable Simon the Seahorse, who has a little cute little lollipop. I'm so proud of this one. Honestly, I think this one's my favorite so far, but who knows, maybe today we'll up it a little bit more. So let's put these behind us on the shelf. You can see, you can see right here, Hi, tip cam. You can see my hand waving in the bad shutter speed. Put them right there. Okay, normally that would be the cat cam, but my computer is being a big dummy right now. So I'm sorry about that. Hopefully the cat cam might turn on mid live stream, but you know, we'll see. I don't really have much hope for it. And we've got a noisy little Jimbo here to keep us company in the meantime, because he doesn't have a camera to keep him attention. So yeah. This should be a interesting stream. <laughs> all right, well, let's talk about what we're doing today, all the materials you need, how you can support this channel, and then we'll get crocheting. So first off, what are we doing today? Today, we're gonna be making two patterns, one of which is available in the library currently, uh, just came out today. That is going to be a miniature dolphin. The second one, that's right, Jimbo. The second one is gonna be a an orca, or killer whale that is not gonna be available right away, but I'm gonna be testing the pattern out today and it will be available next week. It's gonna be next week's new whale edition. So I've been doing a new whale every single week. Um, the reason I'm doing that is because next week I'm not gonna be able to do a live stream crochet along. So I wanted to make the orca now so that at least on the cam, on cam, at least once we could be making an orca. So that's my kind of uh, plan and idea here. Uh, I hope you guys like that. I'm sorry I won't be li live next week, but this is the best way to get make sure we make all the creations from this season on a live stream at least once. Uh, and again, I'm sorry that it's not in the library yet. I do have some new stuff in the library though that I'm excited to share and we'll talk about in a second. Now, if you want to crochet along with me, you'll need the following materials. Jimbo. Not right now. He is scratching the my bag full of yarn right now, which is great for me. <laughs> okay, so today you're going to need the following materials. Now, as I go through this, we are voting right now on what color, buddy, stop. On what color we're going to be making today. So we're gonna be pulling from our seasonal kit. We won't need our pin, but these are available in the shop. Uh, we'll talk about that in a second though too. We're going to be using worsted weight yarn in 100% cotton. The color is up to you. We're voting between pink, teal, cyan, and purple. You choose what color we want to make our dolphin today because that's what we're going to start with is a dolphin. Uh, and then of course we're going to need some white and that's going to be for the belly of our dolphin. We'll also need some safety eyes. We'll grab our six millimeter safety eyes. Um, we will need some stuffing, but I got some stuffing from on the side, so we don't need to open a brand new one. And I think that's it. Okay, so that's the materials you're gonna be using. I'm using all the materials from our new seasonal kit, which is available now. I put links in the description for where you can access that. So let's go ahead and put this aside for right now. Um, what's really cool about those kits also, by the way, check it out. I know I've talked about this a million times, but I just think it's so cool. It's a, and actually a yarn holder too, so you can like pull yarn from the inside. It's just kind of neat. I like it. All right, Jimbo, let's vote on which color. What color do you want to make today? Oh, you're gonna eat the cords? Cool, cool. I think that means uh, that color. Oh, interesting. Wow, the vote is going in a way I wasn't expecting. Very cool, very cool. I am so excited. All right. Um, Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. All right, so that's all the materials that you're going to need today. Now, as far as the tools that we're gonna to be using, we're gonna be using a size G crochet hook 
four millimeter, favorite kind of hook to use with the yarn at hand. These hooks actually come with the kit um, if you request a hook. So if you wanna get one of these awesome crochet hooks, they are out now. You'll need a pair of scissors and a darning needle. I'm gonna be using a crimped end darning needle because you know me, it's my favorite kind of needle to use for amigurumi because it's easier to get in and out of stitches. And then some eight, uh, six millimeter eyes as we've said before. I'll probably be adding like cheeks or something. We'll, we'll be customizing our dolphin a little bit based on your suggestions. So if you got ideas for customizations for our dolphin, let me know in the comments. Um, Interesting. The pages are this. Okay, Spoonie Stitcher has a question in the comments about membership stuff. It might be a login question uh, that it, there might be an issue on login because I haven't had any problems yet. But Spoonie Stitcher, please contact me by going to uh, the website and going to the contact page and reach out with their problem. We'll be able to deal with it a little bit easier off live stream. But uh, directly, it's contact at clubcrochet.com and we'll be able to help you out there. Uh, because yeah, that's definitely something wonky is going on. So we'll help you fix it up. Um, yeah. Okay. So that's all the materials you need. You'll also need the pattern of course. And the pattern is available now at clubcrochet.com slash under the sea as is a few new rough draft patterns that are out now, but which I'll talk about in just a sec. Um, but that's everything you're going to need for our dolphin. I think, yeah, I think so. All right, let's talk about how you can support this channel if you would like to, and then we'll get crocheting. Sound good? Great. If you like this video and you like what's going on here and you want it to keep going and you want it to keep me keep doing live streams and making new patterns, there's a bunch of different ways you can help support this channel. The first way is really easy. You just like this video down below, subscribe to the channel. Uh, shout out right now to Kristen Pfeiffer, who was the last person to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for subscribing. Um, that is a super cheap free way to support this channel. If this video gets 150 likes, we'll do a giveaway next live stream, which won't be next week, but the week after. Again, we'll talk about that a little later. Um, I've got a really fun mystery live stream coming for you uh, that week. Um, yeah, so that's the free way to support this channel. If you'd like to support us monetarily, well, that's a whole different story. And I love you. Thank you so much for helping support monetarily. The best way to support monetarily is with a Club Crochet membership. Memberships get you access to the full library of tutorials. I had new patterns pretty much weekly at this point. I've been going a little kind of crazy. Maybe I should chill out. I don't know. You let me know. Uh, <laughs> membership started only $5 a month. You can even get a free trial. See if it's something you're interested in and cancel it at any time. And again, it's the best way to support this channel. You can learn more by just going to clubcrochet.com slash membership. You can also get a membership by purchasing a seasonal kit, which we're going to be working out of today. Uh, seasonal kits give you three months of membership. So it gives you a whole bunch of stuff other than the materials themselves. Uh, and like I said, members get access to the full library of tutorials and I add new ones in like all the time. Gives you PDFs, video tutorials, everything you need there. So that is the best way to support monetarily. Other ways you can support monetarily, we have merch and kits in the store other than our seasonal kit. Um, by the way, if you purchase other kits from our store, including the dinosaur kit and our first season photosynthesis, you'll also get memberships to the website. So it's another cool way to get a membership uh, and you know a cool kit with it. Um, including the kits are these fancy, this fancy yarn that is exclusive to Club Crochet, by the way. Uh, which I have talked about a million times, so I won't go through it all right now. Uh, final way to support monetarily is if you really like what's going on here, you can support with a tip. If you tip, we are currently doing working out of this here pot. Here, I'll show you right there. So this is our fish bowl. Every time someone tips, we're gonna add something new to the fish bowl and with the goal of filling the fish bowl up with critters. And once the fishbowl is filled, we're gonna do a gigantinormous giveaway. So tip down below and you can uh, add something to the fishbowl and you'll know that your addition was always there. Speaking of, we already have two tips. All right, <laughs> heck yeah. So we've got a curious snail and Cooperlicious, both of which are amazing. And thank you so much for your support. Um, you guys rock, you guys rock. So let's add a couple of things for both of you. Uh, first off, let's add for a curious snail. Um, I think because they're both $10 uh, tips, we'll add a little bit larger of items. 
Um, even though I have a bunch of these mini patterns that I really want to add to the fishbowl, you know, we got to do what we got to do. So we'll add our cute little pink dolphin. This is also, by the way, what we're going to be making today. This is going to be added for a curious snail. Thank you so much. This is actually the same uh, dolphin that is in the uh, pictures and stuff. So you get to actually name it if you want to. The dolphin from the pattern. And for Mr. Cooper... Let's see, what do we add for Cooper? We need more whale, right? Whale, whale, whale. I think I've got a pretty cool, like, OG whale somewhere. Hold on. Oh, here, this is perfect. We'll add, we'll add Taco. This is Taco the Octopus, uh, a customized octopus with a little Japanese headband. Um, because he's a little sushi chef. And we're going to add this to the pot for Mr. Cooper as well. So we'll go ahead and put that right there. Uh, at the end of the live stream, I'll add these to the fishbowl, by the way. Um, Okie dokie. I think that's about everything. Let's call the vote. Wow, 67 votes. I think that's one of the highest polls that we've had so far. And we are making... We're making a teal dolphin today. Very cool. Very cool indeed. And we get to open our brand new teal yarn. How fun is that? All right, let's go ahead and put these to the side. Actually, we're going to put these back. We're going to keep the white out. White out, that's funny. But we're going to put the rest of these back in there. And yeah, 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 yeah. All right, all right. Takoyaki. Hello, Takoyaki. Hey, speaking of Takoyaki, this is Taco. That's funny. Um, thanks for joining, Takoyaki. Uh, someone asked a question. Constant Crochet said they need help with something. Uh, let me know how I can help. And, uh, yeah, I'd, I'd be more than happy to help. Uh, just let me know what kind of help you need. Uh, by the way, speaking of, is a uh, Miss Weasel in the chat right now? Mrs. Weasel, uh, a.k.a. Barb? Let me know. Are you watching right now? Comment. Comment if you can, if you're, if you're out there. Okay. So we're going to start with our dolphin. Or dolphin. I just completed the pattern like last night. So it is a fresh one. So I'm going to definitely have to work off of the tutorial here as I go. And look at that, I've already goofed it up because I started with the body and we actually got to make all the other parts first. Okay. Side fins first. All right. Constant Crochet's question is, so they made two clay cats that hold onto their crochet hooks. They're so cute, but I don't know what to name them. Oh, that, what a great question. Okay. So you want their names to be crochet themed though. So you came up with some ideas and you'll list them. Okay. So we got two kitties that have, that we need names for that want to be crochet themed. All right. Let's see what your ideas are. And then we'll, I'll throw some other ones in the, in the uh, mix or I'll let you know which one of those are my favorite. Oh yeah, <laughs> Ivy, Ivy is so funny. So we have this little crew of uh, Pikmin Bloom players. This is, it's this game on your phone where you can like walk around and plant flowers and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, it's just, uh, Cooper has been walking, <laughs> has been walking a lot recently. <laughs> That's funny. Um, Elizabeth has a question. Is our yarn free of wool? I'm guessing you're saying free of wool. Yeah, free of wool. Um, you are allergic. Yes, it is 100% cotton, uh, all natural fibers, cotton yarn. So there is no wool in our yarn. At least not in our amigurumi cotton. Eventually I will be adding, I do want to add, um, yarns to it that include different kinds of yarn, but, uh, for now, it's all amigurumi cotton. Another shout out, is Mrs. Weasel here yet? AKA Barb? 
You in the chat? All right, well, we'll wait. We'll wait up. Okay, so we've got our two side fins already. That was pretty... Hey, by the way, <laughs> you know, the whole time, I wasn't even looking at those fins. So, a little brush off my shoulders there. <laughs> All right. Um, okay, constant crochets. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, yeah, next we're going to make the tail. Uh, con oh, yes, you are there. Okay, so Barb, a.k.a. Miss Weasel, happy 33rd anniversary for you and your husband, Ernie. Uh, happy anniversary. I hope you guys have a wonderful 33rd anniversary. You've been together longer than I've been alive. Sorry for pointing that out, but also congratulations. That is a huge accomplishment and yeah, congrats. That is really cool. Um, yeah, your husband reached out and, uh, and asked for a shout out. So this is the shout out. Uh, by the way, Ernie, you're a very good husband. <laughs> it, it is very clear why you guys have been together so long. And yeah, happy anniversary. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Uh, do we sell the yarn too? Um, not just yet. I'm not, uh, I haven't got it into the, um, oh, Jimbo, stop it. Um, hey, buddy. No, don't you. Oh, my God. He's going behind the light box. I'm never going to get him out of there. I'm never going to get him out of, the, out of there. Hey. Oh, gosh. Okay. He'll figure it. He'll figure it out, hopefully. Um, <laughs> Lots of congrats in the, in the chat for Miss Weasel and her husband, Ernie. That's so cute. Um, okay. Oh, AJ wants to race. You probably will win today, AJ. I'm going a little slow, but that's all right. Uh, oh yeah, okay, so we're looking at names for constant crochet. So we got Stitch and Stitchette, Chain and Chainette, Crow and Shay, Ami and Gurumi, Pin and Needle, Stitch One, Stitch Two, and Bobble and Popcorn. I love the name Popcorn. That is a really, and Bobble. Those are really cute names for cats. I, what about like Treble? Treble is kind of a good name for a cat and like a weird stitch that you might use. That one come, could be a pretty cute name. Um, what other names, what other stitches can we come up with, Jimbo? Tunisian? Tun like the Tunisian crochet stitch? That could be kind of cute. Um, I, do, I do really like Popcorn and Bobble. Those are really, really cute names. So I don't think you can go wrong with those names. Let's see, what other ones could we go with? Stitch, needle, hook. Jimbo, do you got any ideas? No, you just wanna eat my yarn? Cool, that's really cool. Oh no, I cut that a little short. Hopefully that's not too short or we will have to make another tail. If we do, we do though. It won't be that big of a deal. Oh, Pico, that's a good name, Michelle. Michelle is on it. Pico is like, that. that's your name. Tuna, oh, tun Tuna's a really good one. That's like a shortened, of. oh, Loop and Thread. That's a good name. Man, people got some good suggestions in the chat. Jimbo, He's he's now he's laying on my leg and playing with our yarn that we're currently using so if you see this yarn start to get pulled back or come coming up with some cat slobber on it you know why hey stop let go you're gonna get kicked out if you keep this up i get it i know your cat cam isn't working right now but you can't act a fool let's see is our cat cam working yet No, of course not. Of course not, Jimbo. Okay, yeah, you go lay down on your bed. That'll that's that works for me. We have got the advantage over AJ as far as speed goes here. I'm very excited. 33rd anniversary. Man oh man, Barb, that is a while. Any tips? 
As someone that's about to get married, any tips? Okay. Oh, Ivy asks, how hot is it where everyone is? Oh, Pop and Bob. Actually, that is a good name, Constant Crochet. How hot is it where everybody is? Here, I mean, it feels like a bazillion degrees. I'm not going to lie, because there's like no wind and it's just pure sun. But it really is only about 88 or so. I think it was 88 yesterday. Um, but it is really hot. Like, honestly, it feels like a bazillion degrees outside. I am sweating all the time. Uh, but it's nice in the house, so that's good. I got air conditioning. Our old place in San Francisco did not have air conditioning and it sucked. <laughs> it was not fun, but only for like a couple of days a year was it really bad uh, because most of the time in San Francisco, it's really cold. So it was only in September, but here it's like, oh my gosh, it's hot all the time. Marry your best friend. Well, that is easy squeezy. That that already is uh, is the case, so that's not a problem. Triple digits the whole month of July for Emerald Turtle. Oh my god, that's hot. That's way too hot. Too hot. Ooh, Puff is a good name too, Constant Crochet. Cluster's not bad. But I think Popcorn or Pop is pretty good. Whoa, Cosmo Five Worlds Explorer is in Turkey today. Wow, and it's hot as heck in Turkey. Oh, congratulations, Twiz. Twiz is celebrating their fifth anniversary soon. Congratulations. Why is there no live next week? Next week, I'm going to be in San Francisco, uh, just hanging out with some buds, and yeah, I just won't be able to do a live stream, but the week after that, I will be doing a live stream uh, and actually the week after that, I am going to be putting a vote out for the live stream so that we can try a different time. Um, so the first thing is that it's going to start at, uh, it's going to start at 1 PM Pacific standard time, two weeks from now. Um, that's going to be the first, I think the first week of August or no, no, second week of August. Um, but it's gonna be up to you on what day. So I'm gonna try something new and put a vote out for the YouTube, uh, in the YouTube, you know, votey place. And go with, it's gonna either be on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, or Friday, and everybody's gonna be able to vote on what day to do the live stream. I just thought it might be nice to like switch things up for the people that can't always join on Thursdays. Uh, so that we can do other other live stream times. So that's the plan right now. Uh, but yeah, I'm sorry, Cosmo, that we won't be doing a live stream next week. But yeah, I, I made plans and and honestly, I could use just a week uh, just to catch up because I have a lot of patterns that I really wanna catch up on. So it'll be kind of nice to be up uh, and away from home for a little bit because sometimes when I do that, I get a lot of work done for my patterns. So it's kind of nice. I blame Jimbo. Jimbo just doesn't let me get any work done, but it's kind of great. No comp, oh, no complaints there. Yeah, no, no humidity here. All right. It's very, very warm. Very, very warm. Hey, Moon Rose Craft, how are you today? How is your day going? You are new here, I think. Thanks for joining. Bolivia, it's actually pretty cold there in Bolivia. Well, that's kind of cool. Plans for a contest this season. Good question, Twiz. Uh, there is a plan for the contest this season. I'm kind of actually in between ideas. So the idea so far is either to do a customized octopus so you're gonna make an octopus the way you want to, um, like this, or or cephalopod. So you could do squids or octopus or whatever. Man, I just hit my elbow on something and it hit it the perfect spot. It hurts so bad. Um, <laughs> I'll be okay though. Uh, so my current idea is either to do a customized octopus or a custom aquarium, uh, like where you make whatever 
whatever fish and animals that you want to add to the aquarium and then post a picture of it. Those are my two ideas, but if you have any other ideas, let me know. The, the, um, the contest will start in mid-August or late August. I'm not really sure. I do have it on the calendar, um, but yeah, there will be a challenge, a Club Crochet challenge this, this season for sure, so don't you worry about that. And it'll be, I think, a similar giveaway as last time. So that's a pretty big giveaway. So it'll be kind of fun. Canada. We got Canada. We got Venezuela. Hello, R. Lopez. How you doing from Venezuela? That's pretty awesome. Oh, my God. Lacey, congratulations. Lacey said that they just proposed to their wife the week before last. Congrats. Wow, you proposed and got married really quick, or is is it just not your um? Is it your fiance or is it your wife? Did you guys just propose and get married like right away? Because that's kind of cool. Oh, we could do like octopus with a hat. That could be kind of fun. Oh, sunshine, we will keep you in our thoughts. Sunshine is going through some stuff, so everybody give them some love. Um, Susan, are we not going to do a live stream for the Narwhal? You know what? We will do a live stream for the Narwhal. I just actually remembered that that's not hasn't been live streamed yet. So we'll figure it out. I, I'll do a live stream for a Narwhal, though, for sure. Um, we'll just have to figure out what day and time to do it. It might be, it might be kind of nice to do like a mini live stream someday where it's more like casual i don't know let me let me think that through but thank you for reminding me susan i don't know how i almost forgot about that but yeah thanks or i guess did forget about it <laughs> all right where we at here we are just finishing up i gotta use the check marks we're just finishing up round five right here it should be one two three four five yep okay so let me use the check marks keep track and now we're on to round six, uh, which is a little weird. So that's good to know. Before I do round six, though, let's have a little bit of tea. I already had a coffee, so don't you worry about my coffee. But now I'm going to have some iced tea that Jules made me because uh, she's a little sweetheart. Okay. Oh, okay. Yes, Cooper. Thank you, for, thank you for reminding me in the chat via the link. Um, so, hold on, I got an eyelash in my eye, which is fun for me. That's not where they're supposed to be. They're supposed to be outside of your eyes. I'm like 90% sure eyelashes are not supposed to be inside of your eye. But I don't know. Hold on. I'm not a biologist. I have no idea how eyes work. Okay. Woo. I can see. <laughs> okay. Man, there's straight up, yeah, there's an eyelash in here, but I'll figure it out. It'll, it'll figure its way out. Um, okay, so I did want to shout out the newest preview pattern before I continue here, So, which Cooper just talked about. So in the preview patterns, hold on, I'll show you. I have got a few new patterns that are coming out soon that I need feedback on. Uh, specifically, it's going to be a bunch of these micro crochet patterns, which you've seen some of in the, um, the fishbowl back there. But currently I added two patterns to the micro crochet patterns. Uh, by the way, you can find them by using the link that Cooper just posted or by going to clubcrochet.com slash under the sea. And it will be beneath the patterns for the season because it is a preview pattern. It's not out yet. Uh, and the patterns are for these ultra miniature octopus and squid, uh, and they are so cute. So these are my new, I'm working on some new patterns. I'm calling them micro crochet patterns. They're patterns that have 100 stitches or less. In fact, I think this octopus is only 52 stitches total. They take me about 10 minutes to make. They are so cool. I'm like a huge, huge fan of this pattern. I'm like, I'm very, very excited to utilize them uh, and to keep making ones like that. But I knew, do need feedback on them. So if you want to check them out early, you will need a membership level account to access them. But uh, you can give me feedback, check the patterns out early. Eventually, I'll do, be doing a video tutorial for them. 
Uh, and specifically the octopus and squid, I'm doing designs for different kinds of tentacles. So you can do like little sharp tentacles like that. You can do more, more like bobbly bubble tentacles. That's what I'm calling these are bubble tentacles. Or I have another one for this one I made last night for like longer tentacles. So you can try doing one with like extra long tentacles too, uh, which is so cute, but I'm, I am per, uh, privy to the shorter tentacles personally. But I'm very curious to see what your feedback is. Um, Cooper just put it into the uh, chat again, but again, you can find them by just going to clipcrochet.com slash previews. Uh, eventually, um, probably next week or the week after, I'll be adding other ones in there for more micro crochet patterns uh, because I already have five different micro crochet patterns ready. And honestly, this like unlocked a new neuron in my brain, I swear. Like I made this little octopus. I think this might actually have been the first one I made. And once I made it, I was like, oh my God, I can make so many different patterns micro like this that are less than hundred stitches, no sewing. I was like, oh my God, I could probably do a triceratops. Oh my God, I could probably do a pig. I could do a, like, my brain just started to go crazy with it. So I'm very, very excited about the prospects of these micro crochet patterns. And I'm super curious of what you think, especially because they're just so, it's so cool to have patterns that take like no time to make. So anyhow, check them out in the previews uh, and I'll be adding new ones in probably every live stream. I'll talk about a new preview pattern that's available uh, throughout for the next, I don't know, X amount of live streams. So yeah, keep a lookout for that. Thank you again for reminding me, Cooper. That was really cool. Um, okay. By the way, the reason I designed those is because there is a new game that I'm working on for uh, octopi and squids that I'm really excited about. So eventually I will be doing a, um, I'll be talking about them a little bit more, that game a little bit more, but yeah, I'm working on another new board game that I'm going to start to test out during the season. So yeah, keep a lookout for um, when I start releasing the playtest for my new game. Yeah, Ivy's like, Ugh. yeah, I know. It's it's really, really cool too. I Honestly, like, it, it was one of those Jimmy Neutron brain blasts that I had in the middle of the night. I was like, sorry. I know I'm going really slow with the dolphin, but I'm having fun talking to you. So, you know, get over it. Uh, <laughs> AJ's gonna kick my butt in this pattern. Um, uh, Ivy, Ivy asks, will you ever try actual micro crochet like with a crocheted thread? Absolutely. Um, that actually is the plan is that I want to create these patterns that are super duper tiny and then actually make them with micro crochet and like mid, like this big. Oh my God. Can you imagine little itsy bitsy crocheted patterns? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, but I lost track of what I was talking about. Micro oh yeah the game um so the other night i was like i remembered this game that me and my cousin sarah had made like a few week or a few like honestly a year or so ago because it was i was living up in san francisco at the time and we came up with this game and it was so cool and then i was like oh yeah i forgot about that game i wonder what it i wonder how much work i did on it and i looked up i created like a google doc and and put all the rules in it and it was like complete like all the rules were there. I even made a board for it and I made like little little icons for the pieces and stuff. And I was like, oh my God, I can't believe I put all this work into this game and then I never did anything with it. So I really wanted to try it out and start getting putting the play test out there. Um, so yeah, look, out, look um, out soon for a brand new game to be play tested uh, during the season. It's very, very, very cool. Honestly, I love it. It kind of plays itself, which is something that I'm trying to work on. Um, there's not enough, uh, I'm calling it agency. I mean, I'm calling it, it is called agency. Uh, there's not enough like, like things that you can do in my opinion right now. So I'm trying to kind of work around that. I know this is very like up in the air explanations cause you don't even know what the game's about, but you'll, you'll know, you'll get the gist eventually once I release it. Um, yeah, I don't want to say what the name is for the game either because I haven't bought the website for it yet and I want to buy the website first. Okay, 
Where am I? I did round six. Now I'm on round seven. One, two, okay. I don't think I bought the website for it. It's a good name though. <laughs> Takayaki, thank you. <laughs> You're cute. That, that was that was sweet. Thank you. I, you know, I've got, I've got. So so far, I've got stitched lava run, and technically none of these games are out yet because I really want to put more work into the production of each one. And honestly, I've just have. I have more ideas than I do time. <laughs> so I'm still trying to figure out how to like actually make them into reality. But so far we've got Stitched, Lava Run, this new one with Octopi. And then I've got, oh, thank you for letting me know, Cooper. I'll get to that donation in a second. Um, but thank you so much, Twiz. I'll get to your donation in just a sec. Um, uh, stitched, the, the Octopi game, um, Untitled Octopi game. That's what I'm gonna call it for right now. And a, uh, I also have one that I'm working on for the burbs. I have one that I'm working on for the little frogs, the little bon moles. Uh, and there was one more. I can't remember what it was. But whatever. I've got enough anyhow. So <laughs> enough to work on without having anything out yet. So yeah, new ones coming soon. Um, uh, and AJ, I'll answer your question in a second too. Let me make sure I'm on the right count and then get to the Twiz donation. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Uh, okay, I just wanna make the mini bobble real quick for our, the nose of our dolphin. So I don't forget where I was and then we'll continue on. Okay, so before I continue on, Twiz, thank you so much for your donation. I super appreciate it. Uh, Big, big thanks. Again, happy fifth anniversary. And, uh, yeah, you say the kits are great and so are the streams. Stop. Stop, I'm gonna blurge. Okay, let's add something to the background for you, or to the, well, I guess to the background right now, but eventually to the pot. Um, let's see, so far we have in here, uh, a seahorse, squid. Okay, let's add, um, let's see, let's see, what do we got? You know what, I don't think we have enough squid. That's my professional opinion. And I'm a professional, so I wouldn't doubt. So Twiz, oh, it's your first YouTube tip? Oh my gosh, thank you. Wow, thank you so much. Um, so this is a little tiny squid for you, Twiz. We'll go ahead, we'll put this one right here. And because it's your first tip, because I'm feeling generous, generous, let's add, let's add a secondary one for you. We'll add this, um, well, I might forget that I put that in there. Well, whatever. We're gonna add this one for you, Twiz. And then as a bonus, because I'm feeling generous, we'll also add this uh, little pink octopus that has the little bubble. Uh, tentacles and I put its eyes a little bit higher up because I wanted to see what the eyes would be like higher up. What do you think about the eyes this high up? I personally prefer them lower down, but Twiz, what's your opinion on that? You let me know. We're gonna add these to the background and then we'll add that to the to the uh, pot in a sec. Also, I think, yeah, these have little <laughs> magnets on them because you know, they got little suckers. So they actually hook onto stuff too. So that's kind of fun. I thought it would be kind of fun to add little magnets to them. Oh my God, they're so much fun to like hide around too because of the magnets. My yarn got tangled. There we go. Okay, let's keep crocheting. Yes, a truly too many ideas, Takoyaki. Too many ideas for me to keep up with and keep uh, making all these patterns. So yeah, I have a lot of work with. Uh, AJ asked a question about um, Lava Run. So first off, let me explain for the people out there that don't know what Lava Run is. Um, Lava Run is one of my board games that I'm working on. It's the most uh, straightforward board game, I think I'd say. Uh, and what I mean by that is that it is, um, we need to change the white here. 
it is very much like a board game you know like you're moving characters around a board uh whereas stitched is more ethereal it's like the board is kind of wherever you want it to be and stuff um so that's what lava run is the current progress on that is i'm supposed to be releasing a version two of the or a version like 1.2 of the playtest. Uh, I'm not totally ready to release the to release it yet. When I am ready to release it, it'll be like a Kickstarter and stuff. I don't honestly imagine that I'll be releasing that as a game uh, very soon. And the only reason is because there's just a lot of like stuff that I want to put thought into, um, including I want to make it a book. I want to do like there's just a lot that goes into it. So. Um, in that meantime, I definitely want to playtest a bunch of stuff. And one of the things that I need to playtest still uh, is a there's a solo version of the game that I've been working on for Lava Run where you can play it actually by yourself. And honestly, I love the solo version of the game. I think it is such a cool it, it's just such a cool way to play the game and you don't really change anything about it. Uh, I really, really like it. So I need to put that out for playtest. Um, that's the current progress there, though. If you want to learn more about um, Lava Run, by the way, I think that the link is clubcrochet.com slash Lava Run. I think that's where you can go um, to become a playtester. Uh, I'm basically looking for feedback. I want people to try the game out. Let me know how the game went, if they had any questions, if they had any parts that it didn't work, or if they had any opinions on it. Um, so... Yeah, let me know uh, if you have any feedback there. And again, I think it's clubcrochet.com slash lava run, but I'm not totally sure. Um, okay. Where was I here? Where did I go? Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. This will decrease. Eight. And then... Oh no, one. And then another individual decrease. Got it. But yeah, that's the current progress on Lava Run. Um, that link takes you to a 404 page. Okay, then it's not clubcrochet.com slash Lava Run, even though it's supposed to be that. Um, let me find it. Let me figure that out real quick because it's apt and I'm talking about it. I think it's. Ah, that's what it is. Hold on. Is it not long? Huh. Okay. One second. I would like to find out what that URL is. So let me just search my the back end of the of my website to to figure out what that is. Because it should just be clubcrochet.com slash lava run, honestly, but it's not, so. Ah, there it is. Okay, I'll put it in the chat right now. There we go. It's, it's lava dash run dash beta that's the that's the url because i'm a silly goof and i should be naming it something better so there you go sorry about that slash thank you for letting me know cooper um okay that should be the end of our round here and we can keep it checked off okay so now i'm on round nine <laughs> well, hey, Frosty, how you doing? Becky, am I human? Defend depends what you consider human. Beep boop bop. Deep boop boop bop. Yes, very human. Me, I'm very human. Smile, like human do. <laughs> All right, let's keep going uh, while I mess with Becky a little bit more. <laughs> Dude. 
depend. Do you consider aliens human? Uh, because if you don't, then no. <laughs> what am I making right now? Uh, um, Angie, we are making a little mini dolphin. Uh, and I wanted to get actually, I wanted to add something to our dolphin. So let me do. Let me finish this roundup. Because after this round, we're going to be adding the fins and the tail and stuff. But uh, as I do that, I need to add the face. And I have some ideas on how we can customize the face to make it a little bit more, um, you know, our dolphin. And I wanted to see, uh, I wanted to get a vote on what additions to add to it. So currently, I'm thinking we could either add cheeks. We could add eyebrows or we could add glasses. That's my current thought of the options for um, customizations. So let me go ahead and throw that into the chat right now where we can vote on what we wanna to add to the face of our dolphin. And then while y'all are voting for it, I will sew on all the bits and pieces. So first let's do that. Start a poll. How, oh, thank you for the little smiles, I think, or eyeballs. I don't know. Someone's clicking the button a lot and I like it. Thank you. <laughs> How should I customize our dolphin? Cheeks? Spelled cheeks wrong, but that's all right. <laughs> Eyebrows. Um, glasses. Any other ideas? Eyebrows, glasses, something easy to add. I can't think of anything. That works. If anybody has any ideas, maybe we can add something to the um, killer whale. I didn't want to do a hat because we've done a lot of hats right now and I kind of want to keep it a little bit more simple, but yeah. You, you get the gist. You get the point. Um, and personally, I think we should be adding this because it's simple, cute. Ooh, but I don't know if everybody agrees with me. We'll find out. You're, the surprise bit, you were pressing it, Becky? Well, thank you for pressing that. I saw it, I noticed. Um, okay. <laughs> Julie said, I bend, I bend my mouth to show I am a pleased human. <laughs> Akari said, Akari also, there seems like there's some consensus in the chat that I am not human. That is, I don't know what you all are talking about. I am very human. As humans say. I show, oh, I show joy like human do. Okay, wait, I gotta remember where to where I put these fins. So let's look at Curious Snail's Dolphin Edition so we can remember. Down, oh, oh it's from the bobble stitch. It's one, two, three, boom. And then from the bobble stitch, one, two, three. I think that's right. Yeah, I think that's right. Okay, so from the bobble stitch, it's from this side, it goes. Ah, oh, yes, now I remember. I'm remembering. I will bebble all the things. Bloop. Two. There we go. There we go. How about a big goofy mustache on the killer whale? That could be something for sure. <laughs> Akari thinks we should make it a Harry Potter dolphin. Glasses with the with a scar. Perhaps. Oh, a bow. That would be so cute for the killer whale. I like I do like the idea of a bow. You're on to something there. Bryce, thank you so much. Oh, thank you so much, Bryce. That was a really sweet comment. I appreciate it. You covered the head of your octopus in mini bows. That's cute. A robo, I'm a robo alien, as uh, we call ourselves in, um, on my planet. 
X4832487. Uh, that is the easiest way for me to communicate what my planet is to you, febile humans. Uh, but in our language, my planet is called. So, it's kind of. Kind of, it's just kind of hard for you guys to pronounce. Um, <laughs> man, I'm not helping out with the whole alien thing. One, two, three, four, five. Correct. That's so that's Disa looks right. Who's pressing the 100 and the cheers and the hearts? Do I still speak 50,000 languages? Well, I've been learning a few few new languages here and there. So I'm about like at 55,000 uh 164 languages. Um mo like 99.9% .9 of those languages are not from Earth. So it's a lot of like it's like Gorkskayan and flu. I speak that really well, actually. I've been getting really good at um, Which is hard to do uh, because, you know, you have to use your gorgling in the back of your throat uh, to, to really get the uh, sound for that language. Um, yeah, uh, people are really getting an introduction to Louis' full weirdo state uh so i hope i'm not scaring too many of you away uh and i really hope that the government doesn't see this because i do not want to be locked away again it took me 500 years last time to break out and which is crazy because 500 years ago like the technology was so insignificant but they used my own ray against me and it was like a whole thing so i was the size of a thimble and it was a lot easier and they just put me into a glass jar which was crazy because glass jars 500 years ago were hard to come by and yeah i guess my coffee's starting to kick in <laughs> let's have some tea give jimbo a squeeze for you absolutely hill simp if you hear him wake up though it's all your fault. He's so sleepy. He's just like a little baby. All right. Is Vietnamese, is the Vietnamese language called Vietnam? That's what the language is called? That's kind of crazy, Tegan. I did not know that. Um, we're gonna use eyes. Should I open this baggie? I got a whole bottle of eyes here. Let's use this. We're gonna use our bottle of eyes so I don't have to open a new packet. Two. Those packets are really nice for me to have, like just in the, you know, back of my head because it's really nice to like bring them uh, around. Uh, oh, I can't add the eyes yet. I gotta add our tail and our fin first. You doofus. You big doofus. 500 years ago was 1523, so who knows what was going on back then? I do. I remember it like it was 500 years ago. <laughs> Akari, you're learning Japanese? I'm also learning Japanese right now. Nihongo ga hanase ka? Uh... Let's see, what did I learn most recently in Japanese? I have learned, I'm right now I'm like starting to get through like, uh, um, mashioka. So like saying like I should do things is my current, where I'm currently at. Um, I actually studied Japanese for four years in high school and I don't remember any of it. <laughs> So yeah, I'm relearning and honestly, even then I didn't really learn anything. I slept through class like 90% of the time in high school because I was a bad student. Kids out there, don't be a bad student. Don't sleep through class. That's a bad idea and teachers don't like that. 
I don't know how I even passed that class, honestly. Especially for four years. The teacher really liked me, though. I was very fortunate. Um, yeah. Mrs. Benioff. Shout out to Mrs. Benioff. My high school Japanese teacher. I don't know if she still teaches Japanese. I heard that she was teaching English for a while. I remember when I first took got into the class in high school, I um, I was like all excited because I was like, wow, they teach Japanese at this school. Like, how crazy is that? I'm so excited to learn. Like, I never thought I would even want to learn Japanese and I'm excited to try. And then I remember coming to class and going like, oh, Mrs. Benioff is my teacher. And I was looking around for, you know, like a, uh, like a small Asian woman because I was learning Japanese and her name was Mrs. Benioff. And... And then I walk in and there's this extremely tall blonde woman. And she's like, hi, I'm Mrs. Benioff. And I was like, wait, what? <laughs> How is this gonna happen? But she was very good at Japanese. And that was my introduction to my Japanese high school Japanese teacher. She was great. Yeah, it was very it was very strange that they had Japanese in my school. Um, yeah, very weird. Uh, okay, let's see. This one goes up to here, and then one two. Yep, that's it. We're adding the um, the dorsal fin right now. I just called it the top fin in the pattern because I didn't think a lot of people would, you know. I just thought it'd be easier, but I probably should. Takoyaki says they have a supernatural natural encounter. You know we need to hear about it now. You can't just say that and, and just us be like, oh, okay, you got visited by aliens. Let me know. Uh, so Takoyaki, give us a TLDR of your supernatural encounter in the chat. I can't wait to hear it. Uh, and speaking of, anybody else see the news about like aliens? <laughs> anybody else see that? There was some pretty crazy news yesterday, and people, I feel like people are not talking about it at all. But it was about how, like, like these government agents and stuff, I don't know. You'll see. You Just look up Congress aliens, and it'll probably be one of the most recent news articles. It was wild. We are not alone, my dudes. We are not alone. It is crazy. Kind of scary, but also kind of exciting, you know? Mystery is exciting. Okay, so we got our dorsal fin. We got our little fins on the side. We got our tail sewn on. Now we'll add the eyes. I believe the eyes are just three stitches away from that. So two, three. I think they're right here. Yeah. And then three stitches away on the other side. Oh, this eye looks a little funky. So let's go ahead and clean that up a little bit. One, two, three will be right here. <laughs> Takoyaki says, gather around the campfire. That is true, Frosty. It is very true. A lot of a lot of stuff in the news recently. World's on fire. How about yours? But you know what? Here we're just chilling and crocheting, and I love that. Yeah, the world, the world is on crazy pills right now. Whoa, Croshandra, we're almost at 150 likes already? That's amazing. Hey, like this video down below. We're going for 200. If we can get to 200 likes, we're going to do a giveaway next live stream. So, you know, that would be kind of cool. Um, let's see which, how we're customizing our face now that we're at that point. Ooh, glasses. Of course we're going to add glasses. Why, why did I even think otherwise? Okay, so we gotta choose a color now of our glasses. So I think we could do black glasses, green, purple, or silver, or we could do gold, but yeah, we'll just choose we'll just choose those out of those ones. So our options for color glasses, this is gonna be a very short vote. 
Um, purple, silver, green, or what was the last one? Purple, green, silver, or black. Black glasses. Well, you know what black glasses look like. So, or black glasses. So you go ahead and vote on that. By the way, this is the, uh, I, I like this wire for glasses because it's very moldable and malleable. I think it's made out of aluminum maybe. I'm not really sure, but it is very useful for um, making glasses. While y'all are voting on that actually, I would love to do a little bit of show and tell um, because I've been making a bunch of goblins this week because I'm addicted with crocheting goblins. So I just wanted to show you some of them. Um, so this week, I made three new goblins to add to my gobland. Uh, this is this like little thing I've been building in my neighborhood where I'm just hiding goblins around. And so first I made this guy. He's a pretty simple goblin. I did give him gigantic ears, but I made this cute little helmet and added buttons to him. And look how cute those buttons are. Isn't that a cute button? I got this like box of buttons and they're just so cute. So first I made this guy. I think he needs a little bit more addition. I'm thinking like, some kind of button armor on the sides. And speaking of button armor, the second goblin I made, I got a little bit crazy with. First, I made him and I added a bunch of like moles and stuff, but then I added a bunch of button armor to him and it's all just like sewn together and then attached to him. And it's so, I'm just super proud of him. I think I wanna call him the cannonball and add one more button on top of him, but he doesn't he look like a little cannonball? I can just imagine him in a, in like a catapult or trebuchet uh, at the goblin land. Like they're getting ready to like, like attack or something or something. I don't know. That's kind of what I was thinking, but I'm really, really proud of this one. I kind of don't want to hide him at Gobland because I love him so much. Uh, and I even gave him a little scar on the top of his head too. So I try to customize this one quite a lot uh, and I really like him. And then the third one, which this is not really the perfect one yet because I kind of made these glasses after the fact but actually here I'll show you with him without glasses so I made this guy he's got a little eye patch and then under his eye patch he really doesn't have an eye and he's got actually two scars he's very inspired by um, Nick Fury I've been watching Secret Wars by the way I don't know what any I, no no spoilers in the chat I have seen it all I wasn't the biggest fan of the show but I do like Nicholas Fury so I added this little guy with a little scar and no eye and then a little couple of warts on the back. I do want to customize this guy a little bit more, but I did make these little button glasses that I thought were just so cute and fun. Um, I don't think this is good for this guy because he, you know, it's kind of pointless to give him button glasses when he's only got one eye. Um, maybe we could add this to this guy here. I mean, that's, that's kind of cute. It's a little much, but it's kind of cute. I, I don't know, I might add these to something else later. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to share these um, before I hide them at my gobland. Um, obviously, I'm starting to work on videos for that, for that, and I'll share all my um, all my progress on that eventually uh, once I have it all ready. But there's my little show and tell. I hope you guys like it. Uh, while y'all are still voting, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up our dolphin because I can add my I can add the glasses after the thing is all finished up and sewn closed. So I might as well um, go ahead and finish it up first and then we can sew it closed so we got one and then invisible decrease yeah i've been but i've kind of been addicted to adding buttons to my goblins recently because i just think it's a it's very fun you know it's a fun one yeah they look like welding goggles that's that's what i was kind of thinking is is whoever those glasses go on will be a, like an inventor or something like an inventing goblin or troll or something like that. Um, so I pr it probably won't be on that eye patch goblin, but yeah. Make a giant dolphin. You want me to make a giant dolphin? I will consider that, especially if I could just make it using this pattern in blanket yarn. Uh, but yeah, I'll consider making a giant dolphin for sure. I definitely want to make some giant patterns using these whales, uh, just at the very least, just to show that it's very easy to make giant um, crochet using bulky blanket yarn. But yeah, I'll get to that eventually. Um, let's go ahead and stuff our little fella up a little bit before we do our last round. Um, I'm gonna start by just adding all of this extra thread. 
we'll add just a little bit of stuffing and then we'll finish up around and then I will stuff it fully before I sew it closed. Look at your other comment, it's very important. Oh, Becky! Oh, okay, so Becky said that he wanted to say that I have a, they have a binder full of my patterns and it's overflowing. That's crazy. Um, there are quite a lot of patterns on the website and so I can't imagine how big that binder is. Uh, and also, sorry, Becky, that the most recent patterns haven't had a printer-friendly version. I am working on a printer-friendly version for the new ones, uh, but sorry to your binder that the new patterns haven't been printer friendly patterns yet. Um, I am, I do have plans for that. Uh, I really want to build a system on the website so that printer friendly patterns just like can be um, generated automatically. So that way it's a little bit easier for me, but I'm working on it. Uh, and yeah, I apologize that the new ones are so like color heavy and stuff. I hope, I hope your binder, it's not hurting your binder too much. And also that's really cool. And then they also said, hold on. They also said, uh, no, thank you. Yeah, and, and hi to Jack or Jack and Jimbo and Phoebe and Jules. <laughs> I'll make sure they all say, hear you say hi. Frosty, what kind of stuffing do I use? I use um, polyfill is usually what I use for my stuffing. Uh, it's, it's just the easiest stuff to come by. Um, usually at any craft store, they have something like polyfill. So that's my favorite kind to use, but you can use kind of any, you can use even cotton, um, like like cotton swabs and stuff, that will work. Uh, so yeah, there's a lot of options out there. I just need to get a smaller crochet hook so I can more easily stuff this dolphin up a little bit. What brand of yarn do we use? Good question, Jim. That's a very good question because this yarn is all, the yarn that we're using right now is actually our branded yarn. So it's Club Crochet's yarn. Um, someone had asked if this yarn is available for sale yet. It is currently only available in the kits, um, but I do have plans to uh, have it available in our shop soon. So yeah, keep a look out there. Uh, it'll probably be available in the form of color packs. Uh, but I'm not 100% sure yet. I'm basically like trying to figure out the best way to have it available because I did purchase it. Uh, I did purchase like a bunch of this yarn with the intention that it was going to be used for crochet kits, but there's been so many requests for buying the yarn individually uh, that, you know, I'm still trying to, trying to um, figure it out uh, the best way to offer that. And more importantly, the best way to like get it uh, ready for for individual sales so yeah there's my shout out there i will say though uh jim my favorite kind of yarn to use for amigurumi is cotton uh it's not everybody's favorite kind of yarn to use for amigurumi but i love it because it's very moldable easy to use comes in a bunch of different colors is relatively cheap uh so yeah there's there's my shout out a, a good not really comparable brand the most comparable brand is lily sugar and cream yarn but that is kind of not even comparable because our yarn is just so, it's just, our cotton yarn is, is much higher quality than the than Lily Sugar and Cream yarn um, because it's like multi-ply yarn and I can get through, I can go through the whole details of it later. But um, yeah, I would say if you wanted to go, go with a cotton yarn uh, and you didn't want to get one of our crochet kits, Lily and sugar, sugar and cream is probably the closest you can get. Um, although there are some 100% cotton yarns out there. Uh, what you're really looking for though is worsted weight yarn. That's my, um, that's the size yarn that I really like using. Okay, we're gonna sew this shut and end the pull on what color glasses to make. Add our glasses in and then we'll continue on and make our killer whale. Now I do need to transfer over my, um, the PDF version, but we'll get there in a second. Okay. That's a pretty good sew closed actually. Look at that, that's really flat. Cool. Okay, cut the yarn here. 
Let's go ahead and fix all of our fins, because this, especially the tail, like look at that. Got a problem with this tail, so we'll go ahead and clean that up a little bit. And here, and our dorsal fin. And let's figure out what color glasses you're gonna get, little buddy. All right. First we'll end the poll. What glasses do we got? Purple, great. Let's make purple glasses. And then while we're making that, let's go ahead and do a poll for what color should we make our orca? I'm inclined to make it a color, but I want to see what you guys think. So we can do purple, black, um, let's see, uh, or what's another good color for an orca? Sure, why not? Okay, so I got the poll out there for what color orca you want us to make. I'm, I'm, I don't know, I'm like 50-50 if I want to do it a color or if I want to do a classic black orca. So I really want to see what you think about that. Um, I think I'm gonna vote for classic personally. But yeah, we'll see what you guys think. Um, okay, and while you guys are voting for that, let's go ahead and add our glasses, our purple glasses. And um, if you wanna learn how to make glasses, uh, I will do a really quick tutorial. Um, usually what I do is I grab a little bit of our um, wire. You want to get, you definitely wanna get some uh, pliers. You want some pliers. Uh, if, if for anything, you wanna use them at the very least for cutting your wire because it just make will make your life a lot easier. Um, I love this wire because it's very easy to bend. I don't really need pliers to bend it. Although you can obviously use pliers if you want to. And then the way that I make um, glasses is uh, you want to use something like a pen or, or something that's round and you'll start by going around the pen or whatever like that just one little loop around it like so and then you can actually just twist it um, twist this end around the long end like this right so we want to go around it two times so that's pointed outwards that way this part's going to go into the center of our um, into the body of our uh, whale here and then the next one we want to be obviously we want it far enough away so we're going to start it about right here grab our glass or or, or you know what's it called pen and go around the pen again here and this end we want to come around this way so that it's on the same side like that and then we're going to do the same exact thing so we'll go over over and then around like that huh it just let me vote for the thing again that's kind of weird um okay like that and then uh and then you just want to fix everything up so i usually like to start by making sure that both of the glasses parts are like equally spaced and and made similarly and then stretch that out a little bit and then i like to we can make sure yeah okay so it's currently like maybe a little bit long see because our eyes are not going to be really where the center of the glasses are so to fix that we're just going to go up and then down we're just going to basically create a little curve to the glasses itself like that do our best to make sure the curve is even. You gotta be really gentle because this stuff really is a little too easy to bend in my opinion. So it's easy to kind of goof it up. That's pretty good though. Yeah, that's great. Okay, that's great. And then we'll cut these two ends a little shorter so that when we stick it into the body of our um, dolphin, it's not like too long. So again, you want to use pliers for this part and just cut ends off. You just need it a little shorter. It doesn't need to be 
that short. I don't know why it's having so much trouble cutting it. There we go. There we go. That actually might be a little shorter than I was really kind of hoping, but it'll work. And then you just need to find two stitches next to the eyes like this, where the ends can go, can be put into the body itself. Just wiggle into the stitches. There we go. Like that. And then finally, we just need to make sure that the eyes are in the center or as close to the center as we can for the glasses themselves and I think that's actually pretty good what do you think that looks pretty adorable to me I definitely need to do a full tutorial for how to make glasses because it's very very easy once you know what you're doing but it can be hard to like understand it without having some kind of like idea first Oopsies, I kind of goofed that up. Eh, that's okay. That's pretty good. All right, what do you guys think, though? Pretty cute. All right, we'll go ahead and put this to the side. Right there. Clean our space up, and let's get the yarn ready for our, an, our orca. Honestly, I'm not a huge fan of watermelon either, to be completely honest. Especially the ones with seeds. The seeds kind of throw everything off. All right, what color are we making our orca purple? Okay, cool. That's cool with me. Let's do it. So we'll need our purple yarn. We'll need our white yarn, which we already have. And we should probably put away our teal yarn before we get going. Tomatoes are straight up nasty. Hard agree. Hardcore agree with you. I do not like tomatoes. Love ketchup. Do not like tomatoes. Grandpa Dolphin. Oh my God, it is a Grandpa Dolphin. All right, while I make our orca, let's actually put in name suggestions for our dolphin. So we'll go ahead and create a Q&A. Name our new dolphin. Okay, so in the chat now, there is a Q&A where you can enter in names for your dolphin. Um, if you see someone in the chat having a difficult time adding a name to the Q&A, uh, just add the name for them and then give, and then maybe in like parentheses, tell me who is the one that named it so that I can give them a shout out when and if they win. Um, I'm gonna choose my four favorite names and then we're gonna vote on our favorite out of those four. Okay, before I get started with the Orca though, I really gotta go to the bathroom. So I'll be right back. Uh, like, give me two seconds. I'll be right back. I'm actually gonna, yeah, I'll be right back. Let's see, which, which one do I do? This one.
Okay. Man. <laughs> Takoyaki has got the longest explanation for their ghost story. I'm very, I'm very curious. Uh, there's a lot there, though. I'll have to look at it in a sec. Um, okay, I do want to check really quick the cat cam because I think my phone might be able to connect now. No. Nah. Nah, it's not connecting. All right, well, I'll have to figure that before next live stream, which is good because I'll have a second to do it. Um, okay, so we'll keep this guy going right here. We got a lot of coups in the chat. <laughs> Church of Perch is representing. <laughs> okay, okay. Man, there's a five. This is five parts. Okay, wait. Oh. Takoyaki, you got to put it all into one thing and send it to me. Maybe email me. Email me your ghost story so that I can read it all in one piece. Because scrolling back right now is kind of hard. Um, Susan, yes, actually, those uh, those little bats are a, a pattern. I think they might even be a free pattern on the website. I think so. Um, by the way, you, can you see me? Did I do everything right that I'm back correctly? Let me know. I might have goofed something up, so I just want to make sure that you can see me, you can hear me. And also, I have a beautiful face. Make sure that I have a beautiful face. Um, okay, I'm going to be starting to make this orca here. Now, this is my big caveat for the orca. Unfortunately, this pattern is not available just yet. It will be available next Wednesday. Um, so keep a lookout this is going to be my test for the written pattern because i'm recording the video tomorrow so yeah i'm just i'm testing everything out right now uh but yeah there's my caveat so i am sorry if you um if you uh are looking for the orca pattern and you're like what the heck he's making it but i haven't even found the pattern yet uh sorry it'll be out next week okay very beautiful per usual. <laughs> Thanks, Twist. You're so sweet. <laughs> okay, so we've got our little fin there. It, it, Twist is making me blush. Oh, and you got a pod person you've been working on. Very cool. Takayaki. Okay, so first I'm going to make all the pieces for our orca. Um, most of these pieces are basically the same as the most of the whales. So it's just like the fins and the, the tail. Um, you do make one additional fin, I remember. Um, the difference of this pattern is basically in the color changes of the face. Um, it's basically the, the written tutorial is essentially the exact same as the um, classic blue whale pattern. But the uh, the difference really comes when you get when you add color changes to the face. So. I do, I ha, I am using my color chart uh, thing that I created for um, patterns. Hey, uh, by the way, um, Curious Snail, if you're in the chat, I, I don't know if I ever got a name for this pink whale or not. So if you got a name, let me know. Uh, you might have, but I might have just totally forgotten. Um, Samantha, welcome, 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 welcome. Oh, Susie, hola. Como estas? Uh, uh, how do you say I can't speak Spanish? <laughs> Anglais? That's English. I don't know Spanish. Espanol. No, no hablo espanol. Uh, sorry. <laughs> I do want to work. That is the next uh, language I do want to start working on is Spanish, though. Um, I really want to learn Spanish. I do really also want to learn Portuguese because it's just such a pretty language. I want to learn a bazillion things, though. <laughs> Brooklyn Nine-Nine. I love Brooklyn Nine-Nine. My friend, I just saw my friend yesterday and she had a really cool Brooklyn Nine-Nine tattoo that I liked a lot. Uh, it was an axe and it and it was like 
uh, you know, every every woman should carry an axe or something. Do I have a coffee? I already drank my coffee, but I do have an iced tea. Nice tea. You want some? Here. Here you go. But don't drink it all. Chill out. I want some too. Okay. Um, oh, also, I wanted to shout out, uh, Cooper made a really, really cool pillow using the, um, the pattern from last season for the flower pad. And he made this dope pillow. He sent me a picture of it. It was so, so cool. Very, very impressive stuff, Cooper. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, I think that's it. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. We're on track. Four and five. Samantha, you are a bit late, but that's all right. We've already finished our first dolphin. We're looking for names, actually, if you want to suggest any names in the Q&A. And we will add a long end here. Three hundred four or 134 likes. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. We're going for 200 uh, between now and the next live stream. So there's a lot of time to get there. Uh, but yeah, if you haven't yet, like this video down below. Uh, if we get 200 likes, we will do a giveaway next live stream. Okay, I need to put. I need to toss over my pattern for the body of this so that I can really test it out. Um, actually, you know what? I'll go ahead. I'll just open it on my computer and read it from the actual like file on my computer so that way i don't have to like transfer it to my ipad and stuff um and i'm pretty sure i remember how to do most of it correctly um, oh you know what i can do actually i can get a quick little screenshot and then send that over to my ipad that will be the quickest way to do that uh still looking for names for the dolphin by the way so go ahead and throw the name for the dolphin in the chat no my yarn okay i'll get that in a second Okay. All right. It's nice. 12, one. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right. You might see me craning my head while I do this pattern, especially in rounds four, five, and six, but that's because I'm reading the written pattern for this that is not out yet. How am I liking Pikrin, Pikmin? Great question, Valkyrie. I love, love, love it. Um, yeah, I'm a huge, huge fan of my uh, my Pikmin pattern. Or, I mean, the Pikmin game. <laughs> my Pikmin, I do have a Pikmin pattern, but that's not what I'm talking about. Um, yes, I love it. I love it. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll continue from there. Are those your name suggestions for the 
there's a there's an, actually a Q and A uh, for you, um, Samantha. Phil the dolphin, I like that, Grace. We need an Ochi. I agree. I agree. I'm actually working with um, Sir Pearl Gray um, because I've been doing the Pikmin patterns uh, and like getting prepared for that. And so uh, I reached out to Sir Pearl Gray to see if he would do a um, an Ochi pattern. Uh, so yeah, he's working on an Ochi pattern. I'm working on a bunch of different Pikmin. Uh, so yes, Ochi should be on their way. Um, I'm definitely. I'm definitely putting in the work there because I really, really love Ochi. Uh, you don't see the Q&A. Uh, it should be a blue bar at the top of the chat. I can see it on my secondary thing. You just click the Q&A there. It says name our new dolphin and then it should say ask something and that's where you can go in and name. Uh, I think that should be it. Let me know if you see that. Um, the blue, yeah, the blue box at the top of the chat. Okay, I think it was round four that I start the color changes. Yeah, round four, okay. So I'm almost to where we do our color changes now. Hey Alice, how are you? How are you doing today? There's only the website. Hmm, interesting, Frosty. Oh, there you go. Yeah, listen to Zoe. Dismiss the first pinned comment and then you should be able to see the Q&A. Sorry about that. I thought that would happen automatically, but I guess it didn't. Here, I'll go ahead and dismiss the pinned comment real quick so that you can see it a little bit easier. One second. Let me finish this roundup real quick. Okay. There we go. Let me know if that works for you. <laughs> Frosty just put in the Q&A. Oh, I see now. <laughs> so Frosty figured it out. When someone joins after you make a Q&A, it will not show for them. Hmm, interesting. I did not know that. Uh, yeah, Cooper can help you out uh, if you need if you need help to to add uh, things to the Q and A. Um, oh shoot, that's right. I'm reading. I'm, I'm testing a pattern while I do this. Okay, so we got two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, got it. So three, four, and then and then it's half. Okay. So this. And then I do a half color change. All right, we're testing out, testing a pattern out. Like that. Put that a little tighter. And then we'll let that float. And how many stitches between? I'm just gonna let the yarn float instead of cutting it. So we can try making this a little bit easier. Yes, no, yes, uh, someone said, oh, Francis, how are you doing, Francis? Uh, new here, welcome. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you're not yet. Uh, <laughs> uh, how often do we go live? Every Thursday at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time is our normal time, um, except Next week, we are not doing a live crochet along um, because I'll be in San Francisco at the time. But yeah, Julie just saw the the thing. So yeah, we won't be live next week, um, but I will be live the week after that. 
and uh, the week after that we're gonna be doing a special time uh, we're gonna be doing it uh, depending on what time uh, the chat wants so we're gonna be voting on what time to do the next um, live stream we'll vote in the um, that looks probably right to me we'll find out um, uh, there will be something in the community channel of our of my YouTube channel that you'll be able to use for voting on what day and time our next live stream is going to be. Uh, I'm going to be putting that up for vote on uh, Sunday. So look out on Sunday for a vote for when the next live stream uh, will be so that you can choose what the next live stream will be. Alice is still working on, or still waiting on penguins. Yeah, me too. I got to make penguins for sure. Um, how do I come up with the ideas and make the patterns? Man, that is a loaded question, nerdy artist. Uh, I would say, how do I come up with the ideas? Well, I mean, it depends on the idea. Usually it's just like, I want to make something, I figure it out. Um, I do have a big process that goes into me uh, creating crochet patterns that uh, it's it's basically like I make a rough draft and then after the rough draft I make a um, uh, or I'm sorry I make a prototype and then using that prototype I make a rough draft and then after the rough draft I test the rough draft and then I test it again then I record the video then I write the fix the pattern on the website then I do the pictures for the pattern and then I do all this other <laughs> but as far as ideas go hold on I need to make sure I'm doing the right stitches here seven and then seven so one two three four seven boo boo and then okay we're, we're good um uh as far as the ideas go how do I come up with my ideas for patterns it is a I don't know. I, I don't know. It depends on the pattern, I guess. Like sometimes I'm just like, oh, I really want to make um, like it's based on the theme. So let me go, for example, what next season's theme is. Um, uh, next season's theme is going to be holiday hooks. So just a bunch of holiday themed patterns, whether that's Halloween or Christmas or Thanksgiving, a bunch of patterns just themed off uh, over the holidays. Uh, and I'm going to get a little bit less, um, like holiday specific, uh, just a bit. So I'm going to be making things like pine cones, I think is going to be one of the patterns. Uh, and how I came up with the idea for a pine cone was a little bit different than the rest of my patterns. Um, I wanted to do a pine cone because first off, I haven't really ever seen a pine cone pattern online. I haven't really looked either, but, uh, once I made the succulent, um, crochet pattern, I realized there was this really cool way to do little like additions to your like little pieces sticking out of your crochet and so i thought oh what would be cool is what if i did a pine cone like that would be really really fun to crochet so that's how that idea came about um but they all kind of come about in different ways i'm a little nervous about next season's patterns just because there's a lot of new ones in that season that i haven't really messed with very much so I'm kind of nervous of like, ooh, how am I gonna figure this out? But I'm also like really excited about that part of the pattern process. Increase, okay, and there's seven total. Um, so yeah, I let me come up with another uh, example. So let's see, in this season, uh, all these whale patterns, for example, this, these themed patterns I've actually had in the back burner for like since I started crocheting. So I've actually been waiting to have a good reason and and a good not only a good reason but also like I really wanted to build this whale pattern in like the most comprehensive way possible. So originally obviously I was like I want to do a little whale. But then after that, I was like, okay, I want to do other kinds of whales and how do I customize these whales in, in specific ways? So uh, this pattern for the dolphin actually took me a shockingly long time to get right uh, because at first it just didn't look like a dolphin. The nose wasn't right. The shaping wasn't right exactly. It just, it just could have been better. So it went through a, like 
eight or nine iterations before I really liked what the pattern was. Um, but yeah, I guess I don't know if that really answers your question. Sorry, I'm being so blah, 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 about it. I just I'm you know I'm trying to figure it out while I test out a pattern, so it's kind of hard to do. Um, okay, so boom, boom, and then I think there's seven more in between this. Six, okay. God, I love that color chart. It is so helpful. My goal eventually is to make that color chart that I've built for this pattern and a bunch of other patterns like our Earth. Uh, my goal is to have a thing on the website so you can build your own color chart patterns eventually. Uh, obviously, that's going to take a lot of coding and figuring out. So, you know, and just like my billion other ideas it's something that will take forever to implement but it is part of it is an idea that i have and something i really want to create on the website um i don't want to work around that there we go all right we'll come back to white a little later um i think that covers the color changing part of this pattern and so now the rest of it should just be just like the classic whale pattern. So it should be relatively easy to go from here on. Um, let's go ahead before we go and continue on in this pattern. Um, let me choose my four favorite names from our dolphin vote. And then we will vote on which name is your favorite. So let's do that. And then I'll come back to this pattern. So, oh my God, a million bazillion name suggestions by Samantha. Uh, in the future, especially the Samantha, let's try to stick it to just two name suggestions so you don't flood all the rest of the names. <laughs> uh, okay. I love that name, Emerald Turtle. Emerald Turtle, super solid first name suggestion. Oh, huh, interesting name, Akari. Sure. Oh, that's a good name, Ivy. Ivy came with a great name suggestion. <laughs> okay, Kershandro. From left field, I like Kershandro's name. One, you know, you know me. We need one in there that is just a weirdo name suggestion, and I love it. And don't worry, we're gonna have more name suggestions for our orca, so don't you worry about that. Name the name our new dolphin. Okay. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> Dude, that name is such a <laughs> such a silly name for it, for it, but I you know what? I wanted to put it in there. So your name suggestions that you can vote on are Penelope, adorable name. Alexander, what an astute name for an astute little dolphin. Uh Mochi, love that name suggestion or Cheesecake Carl. <laughs> Cheesecake Carl. I don't know where that name came from, but I love it. Uh, yeah, so vote for your name now. Um, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Jimbo does, I don't know what Jimbo thinks about these names. He's still figuring it out. Uh, and then while you guys vote on that name, I'm gonna start thinking about ways we can start to customize our Orca. I think, I think we can add a very simple hat to this Orca is what I'm kind of thinking. So we can either do like a really simple hat. I'll throw in those other things like the cheeks and our, so maybe we'll do cheeks, eyebrows, or like a couple of options for hats. Maybe a fez. I know someone was really requesting a fez last time. So maybe we could do a fez or 
We did glasses already, so not glasses. Um, what other kinds of customizations can we do to our character's face or kind of hats could we add to them that is pretty simple to do? I don't want to create like a whole new pattern for a brand new like, you know, um, fedora or something like that. I just want it to be relatively simple. But yeah, any suggestions out there for really simple uh, customizations that we can add to our um, orca? Let me know. Let me know in the chat. I am reading it. I am I am making votes. Oh yes. Ooh, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Jimbo didn't like it either. Did I wake you up, buddy? Oh, a tongue. Yes, of course, a tongue. That's a good that's a nice easy way to customize it. Good idea there. Okay, we need our white yarn now. If <laughs> cheesecake Carl wins, what flavor cheesecake would he be? I think I think he's called cheese like if his name if this one's name ends up being cheesecake Carl, I think it's because he loves cheesecake. Right? So it'd be less like what kind of cheesecake is cheesecake Carl and more what kind of cheesecake is cheesecake Carl's favorite type of cheesecake. But I don't know. We still got a second but before the name gets voted on. So we we got some votes still to go with. Um, will this pattern be available? Uh, you had to stop and make dinner. Uh, Grace, uh, this pattern will be, this orca pattern that I'm working on right now uh, will be available next Wednesday. So next Wednesday, uh, this pattern should be on the website. Uh, when it is available, it will be available both at this place right here, clubcrochet.com slash under the sea or at clubcrochet.com slash whale. Uh, and again, it will be available next Wednesday. I'm recording the video tutorial for it tomorrow. So uh, yeah, wait up for that. Um, and actually, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. I'm recording two video tutorials tomorrow actually to get really prepared. Um, I'm kind of behind on my video tutorial. I, well, I'm not really, I'm actually I'm just doing a lot of video tutorials recently, so I'm a little behind because I want to make so many. But yeah, we'll figure it out. Um, okay, what other suggestions? A trumpet. I have crocheted a trumpet before. A monocle. Yes, okay, a monocle is just a great idea. A knife. A knife. I love that. Okay, okay. We got some good suggestions here. A black bow tie. Oh, that's right, a little bow tie. That was our, that was our suggestion before, too. Those are all really good suggestions. You can see the color changes look pretty good, actually. I kind of wish I added more color changes in the back and I still might do that on the final pattern, but I don't know. It's very easy to make without doing that too. So it's kind of like, oh. Ooh, cheesecake for your wedding cake. Oh my God. I might steal that idea, Ivy, because that's a really good idea. Ooh, water spouting from the top of the head. That's a good idea, Valkyrie. Man, you guys have great suggestions. I think we won't vote on the cheeks or the eyebrows. I think we got enough other suggestions that we can do without making a, um, without reusing other stuff. So yeah, you guys have some good suggestions here. The chat, you guys always do. Mosaic crochet tutorial sometime. I will start to consider that. Um, I have a lot planned right now. So mosaic crochet tutorials might be a little out of my um, realm of possibilities right now but i definitely will throw that into the blender of my brain um <laughs> the blend blender of my brain could that be a band name brain blenders the brain blenders that's a pretty good band name one two three five um make a mouth oh. Oh, I could do a micro crochet in it. Yeah, I am a little past that, but that is a good suggestion, Cooper, and uh, and a good idea for later. Um, yeah, mosaic crochet. I've never done mosaic crochet, so I'd have to figure out how to do it first. But I'm sure I could figure it out pretty quick. I I will I'll strongly consider it, Samantha. Um, have we set a date for the wedding? Uh, we haven't set a d specific date yet. 
Um, although our plan is in uh, next year in June, May or June uh, is our current plan. So yeah, we're, I mean, we're going a little slow, but you know, classic millennial move. Um, <laughs> uh, and I do want to do, uh, we, 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 we are starting to plan it a little bit better though. So I'm kind of, you know, we're planning it still. Um, okay, before I sew on our pieces for our killer whale, let's start by finishing the poll for what our name for our boat's gonna, or for the name for our dolphin's gonna be. And what wins but, oh my God, by a landslide. You dorks, all you dorks out there. <laughs> Cheesecake Carl. So everybody say hello to our brand new dolphin, Cheesecake Carl. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. He does have like a Carl from Jimmy Neutron vibe going on too. So like, it makes sense. What is your favorite kind of cheesecake? I feel like he's a strawberry cheesecake kind of, kind of work. Actually, this nerd probably just likes regular cheesecake, huh? Or chocolate cheesecake. I mean, there's... You can't go wrong with types of cheesecake. Raspberry cheesecake? Oh, Lord help me. Uh, good name, good name. I mean, silly name, but I do love it. I do absolutely love it. Okay, so we're gonna keep Cheesecake Carl up there. <laughs> so, oh, blueberry flavor. That's a good point, nerdy. That might be what their favorite flavor is. Okay, now let's vote for our killer whale, our orca's addition. So, what do we add to our orca? Let's go, what to add to our orca? I do like a head bow, or, or a bow, what, like a bow. I'm gonna call it a head bow, but you know what I'm try trying to say, right? Like a, like a hair, like a bow for your hair kind of thing, like a cute little pink bow or something. A, um, I do like the idea of also doing a bow tie. So those options are good. Um, someone suggested a monocle, and I love the idea of a monocle. Honestly, we can't go wrong with any of these. And then there was one more suggestion that someone said, uh, oh yes, thank you, Zoe, a knife. Okay, silly. Silly, silly suggestion, Zoe. I don't know if that's gonna win, but we're gonna see. Um, I am gonna vote for this one, personally. Wow. <laughs> I voted and it said, knife! <laughs> so we'll see, maybe knife is gonna win, I don't know. I, I don't think knife will win and that's very, very okay, but we'll see. Can you please run? Oh, smart. Tomato cheesecake? Ugh. I can't, I can't even. I can't even with you guys. Tomato cheesecake? That sounds vile. Vile. One of you guys should be sued for suggesting a tomato cheesecake. <laughs> you deserve jail time for that. <laughs> Chaos is running rampant in the chat today. And especially in the suggestions. <laughs> Chaos control. All right. I wanted to look on our killer whale to make sure I have the spots for our event. Yeah, okay. I thought that was where the fins were getting sewn on, but I wasn't 100% sure, so I just wanted to check. Okay, so we got one fin, two fin, red fin, blue fin. <laughs> red velvet cheesecake. Oh, don't tease me, Bryce. Dang, I could totally. You guys are making me froth for cheesecake right now. Not tomato cheesecake, though. Illegal. That's illegal. 
Can you imagine someone going like, try this red velvet cheesecake out, and then it being like tomato cheesecake, and then you just throwing up all over the person that suggested it, that gave it to you because they're terrible people? I can imagine that. <laughs> oh my gosh, knife is gonna win. <laughs> oh my okay, okay, how are we gonna make a knife? That's the, now I gotta start thinking about how the heck I'm gonna make a knife for our or orca. I sh never should have put that in the boat. <laughs> oh, no. oh, Zoe, you are chaotic, dude. You are a chaotic cat. Hey, uh, speaking of chaos, Zoe, how's the how's your chaotic little pigeons doing? They all grown up yet? All your all your um, government spies out there in Canada. By the way, what I'm talking about is Zoe has a bunch of baby, quote, quote unquote, by the way, because I don't fully believe that there are a bunch of baby pigeons in this world, but baby pigeons in their backyard. In like a pot in their backyard. <laughs> That's a good point, Twiz. I, I, I should have thought... I should have thought before doing it. Okay, I've got actually a few ideas on how we can make this happen. Now that I'm thinking about it. There are a few options I have. Um, one of which is to use the cut board, like that chipboard from last time when we made the propeller for our, um, our one fella. But I need silver Sharpie for that. Actually, Jules might be able to help with that. One second. Hey, Jules. Silver Sharpie? Yeah. Cool, thank you. Just a little one's fine. Thank you. Jules is off to the rescue. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Camera. I did not mean to bump you. I apologize. I'm sorry. What type of knife? Probably like a kitchen knife is what I was assuming. It's not a knife. This is a knife. here for one of our stitches and then boom our second one made this tail end a little longer than I think I need but that's okay hopefully this doesn't get too much in our way that's okay I don't want it in our way you heard what I say you heard what I say Pull that in enough for the knot to pop in there. Go up through our next stitch. Round the outside, round the outside. In through the same stitch. Oh, I feel like the music ended. I'll fix that in a second. We'll go to video game music next. Thank you. Arigato gozaimasu. Jules to the rescue. They named, check out this dolphin, by the way. Dolphin? Yeah, we made a dolphin so far, and they named it, um, you can say hi on the chat if you Hello. want to. Hello. Uh, they named it <gasps> Cheesecake Carl. Why cheesecake? I don't know, but they that's what they named it. I love his glasses. I know, Good right? Move. They're wondering what his favorite kind of cheesecake is. Someone suggested that his favorite cheesecake is tomato cheesecake, and I asked that person kindly to leave the, the chat. No, I didn't really. Don't don't leave. I would eat tomato cheesecake. Ew! Stop! Get out of here! Cheese you know and what? tomato are delicious. Never mind. I don't. I don't. You you don't like tomato, but people put tomato on stop. cream cheese stop bagels stop all it. the stop. time. Stop! Stop! <laughs> stop! Stop! Your... I think his favorite is uh, tomato cheesecake. <laughs> Ew! Get out of here! Oh my gosh! You're terrible. How dare you cooperate with those You're nerds, dweebs, loving cheesecake with tomato. <clears throat> Harf. Oh my God, that's disgusting. <laughs> Thank you for the, the stuff, but also gross. Okay, beach music. That's what we're going to. All right, switching up the music. 
How's this stuff? Yeah, nice, nice, nice. Okay. I'm making a knife for this guy. My goodness. Okay, we need to add this top fin and then we can finish up our orca. A little Animal Crossing music in here. I like that. Proud to be a nerd. <laughs> Me too. I'm not gonna lie, proud to be a nerd. Sorry for calling you nerds, but also you're welcome. <laughs> Do you wanna send me stuff for our wedding? Go for it. I ain't gonna complain. I love free stuff. You know what? That's probably what cheesecake, Carl's favorite cheesecake is. Free cheesecake. He seems like a guy that loves free cheesecake. Fin sewn on. That's good. That's a good fin. Okay, eyes. Eyes are really easy for this guy, actually. So I'm I'm pretty stoked about that. I always keep some wire in here. See this little, I just use these like little things that you get from like packaging and they're great for making glasses. That's the, that's what I was gonna use if we chose black glasses for Cheesecake Carl. Oh my gosh, those, that actually, that's really, really good for the eyes. Okay, how are we gonna do the knife? What I'm really trying to figure out for the knife is less like how to make the knife itself and more to how are we gonna make our character holding the knife? Hmm, I got an idea, I, I do have an idea. So I'll try something out. Um, but let's go ahead and end the vote for the knife so you guys can start suggesting names. Since knife won by 56%, you chaos gremlins. <laughs> guys are wild yeah yamil uh the orca will be out next week so next wednesday is when the orca pattern is going to be out okay start a q a name uh name our new purple orca okay q a is up suggest a name for the orca while i finish our new orca up and make its knife that you guys voted on by a ridiculous amount. <laughs> How to make a knife. We are gonna figure that out together. I do have an idea, but I don't know if it'll work. I mean, I know how I can crochet a knife. Like that, that would be pretty easy, I think. But it won't have as sharp as a of a you know blade so i've got a few ideas for how to do it so we'll try a couple different options for our knife i'll start with the crocheted one because that'll be easiest for me to like sew on and stuff but i don't think that's going to be the best way to do it actually no you know what we're not going to start with a crocheted knife we're going to start with a knife made of paper that's painted painted paper knife another band name painted paper knife paper knives paper knives good band name yeah ivy's ivy i should i should know better i should know better um what size eyes we're using six millimeter eyes for our orca emerald turtle thank you for asking A serious question from Grace. They said, 
what color embroidery embroidered eyes should you put on a black amigurumi i think it definitely depends on what the amigurumi is uh grace because you know like if you're gonna make something like a black amigurumi like goat you might want to use red eyes because it's like a demon goat um but i actually think probably your better option is to paint them white and then do using a like um a sharpie add just an iris in the middle of the white eye uh i think that makes a really cute eye let me show you one let me see if i can find the one that i have i have like this gremlin that i made a long time ago that i did that with that looks super cool it wasn't on black but it'll give you a good idea of what i mean i call them germlin or gerblin there he is so this is what i this is what i mean um grace so I used like, I think I used like 10 millimeters eyes for these. I painted it with white nail polish. Uh, you can use just white out instead, but I do like white nail polish. Um, and the eyes themselves, I just did a dot using um, a Sharpie. So that could be a pretty good option for you. Another way you can do it is I sometimes like using a bobble stitch and then using an eye in that bobble stitch. Um, I'll show you, this is how we made our eyes for um our dorky looking seahorse that we made last week um basically you use mini bobble stitches and then you stick the eye into the center of the mini bobble stitch it's a good option actually for eyes um but yeah those are two pretty solid options uh for your eyes you meal sorry you're late well thanks you for joining regardless um we are currently working on an orca uh, you haven't missed too well. You missed a bit. Um, we have made a dolphin that is upside down right now, whose name is Cheesecake Carl because you guys are psychopaths, and <laughs> and now we're making a dolphin that we're gonna add an. I mean, sorry, an orca that we're gonna add a knife to. I'm just glad you guys didn't vote for a gun because I I, I did not want to crochet a gun. <laughs> Seymour, yes, thank you, Valkyrie. That is the name of our seahorse from last week seymour the seahorse you're very welcome grace thank you for asking okay last stitch here for our orca um we are currently taking name suggestions by the way go ahead and add a name in our Q and A that's in the chat right now. Um, there's a pretty good amount already. Running out of stuffing, so that's that's fun. I'm gonna have to go get some new stuffing. What do I think about the clover crochet hooks? I actually really like clover crochet hooks. That's what this is actually. I think. Yeah, this is a clover crochet hook. I do really like clover crochet hooks. They have really good um, hooks to them. Uh, yeah, I think they're I think they're a good, honestly, a good crochet hook. Ooh, aluminum foil. Actually, that might be a good idea, Francis. That might be a better idea than my idea. So maybe I will use that. Let me let me see how I'll make one using paper and sharpies first since i already have all that stuff like right next to me but if you don't like it aluminum foil is not a bad secondary option um this does look like a really cute orca by the way i'm pretty proud of that all right let's sew our orca closed and start the process for the knife and then we'll do a vote for the name Actually, maybe I should start the vote for the name before I make start the knife, so that way we have some time for people to vote on it um, before we finish the orca up. I'm just adding a little bit more stuffing, even though I think it might be overkill, because he's a killer whale and he deserves some overkill. I don't know what I mean by that. <laughs> Dude, nerdy, really? Oh, when I have a kid under the age of three, you highly recommend making eyes for your amigurumi other than safety eyes. It's a choking hazard. 
heads up for you. Oh, thank you for the tip. I will say um, the way I do safety, the I've never had a problem with safety eyes coming out of the out um, with the safety eyes that I have, but I have, I know that is a worry for a lot of parents. Uh, and yeah, you can always crochet them. Um, there's other ways you can attach the safety eyes a little bit more securely. I have a video tutorial where I talk about that a bit. Um, but yeah, thanks for the unsolicited tip. Whoop. Ooh, dollar store pillows for stuffing. That's actually a pretty good idea, Zoe. That is not a bad idea at all. Oh, thank you, Sunshine, and good luck. Uh, keep us updated on how things go. Okay. So, we've got our Orca finished, technically, but obviously we have some additions that we want to do for him. So, before I get to those additions, let's vote for a name. Let's go through our name suggestions. Oh, I like that. That's a fun name, Jim. Oh, that's that's actually a great name, Emerald Turtle. Okay, wait. Hold on. Okay. Ah, oh, that's a good name, Bryce. I like that. suggested that name wait Valkyrie I love the name suggestion from Valkyrie okay okay I got four name suggestions that I really like okay start a poll name our Orca one two, three, and four. Okay, so here is the vote for the name for our Orca. We can go with Big Mac, like Mac the Knife. Uh, loved, good, good suggestion there. Grimace, because you know, purple, Grimace. Uh, Dr. Grape. <laughs> which I actually really like the name Dr. Grape and Stabby Steve. So honestly, every one of those options are pretty good. I'm very curious to see what you guys go with. While you're voting on that, we're gonna figure out how to make a knife and we're gonna start with this stuff here. Go ahead and cut ourselves a piece of cardboard. And we're gonna try this method first. Um, I'm actually gonna use this cardboard here so that I don't have to worry too much about it, um, you know, getting a uh, paint or, or Sharpie all over our, our table. Um, so let's start by drawing out, do I have a pen somewhere? See, a pencil would be nice though. Yeah, this'll work. Okay, first we're gonna have to draw out a knife. We're gonna do it without a handle, since the handle part we're gonna make pretty small. It might be a little too small, but that's probably good. So that I can go in the hand, or in the flipper rather. That's a pretty good size. I think that's a pretty good size knife. Do you think we should make it bigger maybe? Well, let's try this one and if we, if we need to make it bigger, we totally can. Um, I'm gonna do that one. Ooh, apparently people agree with my vote because I voted for the same one that a lot of people are voting for. Okay. 
Jimbo is having a kissy fit right now. Okay, I hope this small part of the knife is not too small and doesn't break. But we'll find out in a sec. Okay. All right, so there's our knife parts. Next, we're gonna try painting it all silver. Um, the Sharpie might work, but as Jules said, it might be, oh, nope, we're good. She wasn't sure if it was out of ink or not. Paint one side. And then the other side. Try not to get too much Sharpie on our fingers as I do this. Looks like the second side, we're going to have to probably double up the Sharpie on it. This looks like it's going to work pretty well, though. Make sure we get the edge. That, that is a knife. That's not a knife. This is a knife. All right, that part's done. Next up, let's grab some black yarn. I think all I need to do for the knife part itself, or for the handle, is use a little black yarn and then wrap it around the handle part. I think, I think that should work pretty well. So let's try that first. And that way I'll have two ends here so I can sew it onto the arm of our killer whale too. I'm just, the thing I'm worried about though is that this is like too small. This is difficult. Probably should have made this handle bigger, but whatever. Okay. So like that. And now I've got two tail ends that I can use to sew into the arm. Like that. That's pretty good actually. We just gotta be gentle with it while we sew it on. And we'll go one piece at a time here. Okay. Top part, I'll just sew this part into right here. If I can, I can't get my, there you go. All right, Stabby Steve, or whatever your name ends up being. I wonder what the vote is so far. Okay. There's the first part of the knife. Hmm. That's too close to the body. This guy understands how to use a knife, so I don't think they would use it so close to the body. So we're gonna try it a little bit more on their fin itself to for the sewing on part. Try this again. I think we'll go into the top part of the fin. Okay. Now let's try this again. Gentle, gentle. Okay. 
Okay. Ah. Okay. Now the bottom part, I'll just sew into this part. Do the same kind of thing though. To the body and out to the same stitch. Yes, oh my god, that came out way better than I was expecting it to. Wow. That's so good. You know, you gotta go with the flow sometimes, you gotta go with the chat, and sometimes the chat's got ideas that you just gotta kinda go with. Okay, double knot here, and then we'll be good to go. There we go. Okay. Move this out of the way. I'm looking for your approval here, Zoe. As suggester for the knife. What do we think? I love that it's facing outwards like that, so it looks like he's actually holding. <laughs> oh my god, that's actually, that looks pretty good. It's clearly a knife. Wow. Okay, what is the name of our, what is the name here? Yes, okay, perfect. What a perfect name, Stabby Steve. Oh wait, it's a tie between Stabby Steve and Big Mac. Well, you know what? This is my live stream and I am gonna make the, uh, what's it called? Executive decision, even though I do love the name Big Mac. Oh, wait, I do like the name Big Mac though too. Stabby Steve, Big Mac. Stabby Steve, Big Mac. Mm. Let's do another vote. Real quick vote. Because I can't show I can't choose. Okay, tiebreaker. Okay. You have got we're gonna wait till this vote gets to 21 votes. Once this gets 21 votes. I'm going to choose whichever one is the winner. 6, 12, 16, 18, 19, 20, one more, 21, all right. I'll wait for a second longer, 22, okay. Oh, Stabby Steve by a mile. All right, Stabby Steve. Oh my gosh, I love him. I love him. Wow. I can't believe you made me make a knife. But also, Zoe, tell me I did not make a good knife for that. That That is, that's perfect. Is that not exactly what we were looking for? It's holding it perfectly too. I don't even know how I did that so well so that it holds it perfectly like that. But I'm really proud of that. Oh my goodness. Wow. You know, can't even can't even all right that is a killer whale absolutely cooper 10 out of 10 will stab <laughs> uh in the description it says 150 i think it says 200 but i think we'll get to 200 regardless um okay it's perfect thank you thank you uh, Susan, if that is true, I will do a giveaway next week with 150 likes, but really we're trying to aim for 200. So if you can get it to 200, go ahead. Oh, you know what? It would be 150 because last week's was 200. So we did reach the goal. I mean, I still say like this video if you haven't yet, that would be great. But if not, no worries. There's probably going to be a giveaway next live stream. So don't, don't stress over that too much. All right, guys. Today we have... Cheesecake Carl, the adorable, sweet Cheesecake Carl that would never hurt anybody unless they were made of cheesecake. Oh, 
adorable. And then, of course, we've got Stabby Steve, who uh, will hurt you regardless of your uh, orientation or uh, how you know them. They love stabbing. <laughs> great, great, great additions to the live streams for this season. I am a super big fan of it. Wow. Okay. Well, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Again, next week, no live stream. Do not expect a live stream next Thursday because I am not going to be around. But the week after that, we will be doing a live stream. If you want to make sure that you don't miss it when we do those live streams, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon. The bell icon is going to let you know when our live streams start and whenever we come out with new videos. So please just hit the bell icon. It'll make everything a lot easier uh, in the future. I will um, be live, not again, not this week, but the week after. The day that we're going to go live next the next time is going to be up to you. So make sure to keep a lookout in your subscriptions on YouTube. And on Sunday, um, I believe I set it up for Sunday at 8 a.m. for it to go out. Uh, there's going to be a vote. And it'll be a vote for a while, so you should be able to see it eventually. Um, and that vote is going to be for what day and what time. Uh, we're going to be live streaming next. So if you wanted to, um, if you want us to do a live stream on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, or Friday, it'll be up to you to choose. Um, thank you for all the for watching and joining, and yeah, you're all wonderful. Thanks for joining, guys. Uh, now we need a humpback whale with a vendetta. <laughs> I love that, Ivy. Great idea. Um, okay, yes, I'll have fun in San Francisco for sure. Uh, thanks again for joining. Pasta la pizza. Happy hooking. And uh, have a knife knife. Have a knife knife. Have a nice knife. So, have a nice knife. Have a night that is also an... You know what I mean. Pasta la pizza. Happy hooking. Bye. Oh my god, stop. No, you hang up first. Oh. <laughs> uh, dumb. Uh, bye!